Hey guys, it's Half. I am back again. This is going to be part two of my makeup collection videos. I did one of these last year or the year before, um, and it was seemed to be pretty popular. So I thought I'd do another one. Um, I'm kind of just winging it. Um, if you watch the first collection, you will see a glimpse of how my makeup is actually stored on the whole and how much I actually have to show you, which is kind of scary. Um, so in this video, I am just going to go through the items that are in... Sorry, I'll just pick this up so you can see. In These are just all lipsticks that are in my little lipsticky collection thingy. I thought I would go through these ones and give you a swatch of all of them so you can see them. The light might not be great. I am filming this at night under my work light. So it won't be perfect, but nevertheless. So if you want to see... The majority of my lipsticks, this is not all of my lipsticks, this is just the ones that are in this holder here, because um, I have more lipstick than actually fits. <laughs> Go figure. Um, okay, so if you want to see what's going on here, then keep on watching. So first up, I have this little tiny sampler from Bessemé. This is actually becoming quite a popular brand now, which is actually quite interesting, because I have had this for um, over... A year now um, I got it at a the f one and only beauty convention I've been to that was in Adelaide um, these are just little samplers they're not the nicest way of um, having lipstick and as you can see that got a little bit of dust on them I don't really know why I keep them but I do um, and they're kind of hard to swatch so, but we will, we will attempt to so that one there that one is Red Hot Red. Um, all of Bessemer's colours are based on lipsticks that were actually worn um, by movie stars or at a particular time in history. So the other one is Red Velvet. I do actually own two Bessemer lipsticks as well, which I will show you. Like two full size, which I bought at that particular event. So they have the cutest containers. They're so, so gorgeous. The two colours that I got are Noir Red and Cherry Red. Noir Red is a very dark red. I guess it's very dark. <laughs> it's very vampy. It's gorgeous, but it is very dark and vampy. It's not an everyday least I don't think. For most people that is not an everyday colour. And cherry red is it's not like a bright red. Um, I didn't actually go for the super bright reds. It's it's kind of more still a dark, quite a dark kind of red. But I still love both of them. I just don't wear them very often. So those are my best my lipsticks. Then I have, I actually have a fourth MAC which is not in here because um, it's currently in a project. Ugh, look, they're all dusty. Um, the first MAC I ever got is this one here. This is Viva Glam Rihanna. This is a sparkly red little number. It is. I don't know, maybe, I don't think it was maybe the best choice for first um, MAC lipstick because I don't actually think it suits me particularly well. I prefer like this kind of red to this kind of red. But anyway, um, I also got at the same time Heroin, which is purple. Purple, purple, purple. It's very, very purple. Um, this is a matte formula of a matte formula lipstick, which I didn't actually find too drying or anything. The few times that I've actually worn it, I haven't worn it that much actually. And recently I got this one, which is smoked purple, which is also a matte from my friend Tamara J, because she thought she was buying something else on an online sale, and this is what she ended up. So it's like a greyed out, 
It's very similar to the Bessemer one, but the matte version of it. <laughs> it's maybe got not quite as much brown in it, but they are actually pretty similar, except one's clearly very glossy and the other one is clearly very matte. Then I have these three here. These are from the Runway Room, which is, I'm pretty sure it's an Australian brand. They were at the um, beauty convention thing that I went to. They've got the best MA from, and I got these as well. Um, so I have Gypsy, which is a, can you tell what colors I'm drawn towards? It's like a berry kind of tone. Yeah, I'm not predictable at all. <laughs> then I have the Duchess, which is actually, for me, a ridiculously nude lipstick. I'm not actually sure why I bought it, because it's not normally a colour I'm drawn to. Um, but that's, that's that one. Yeah, I'm not. It's nice, but it's not my fave. And then the Governor which is a super duper bright pink Look at that. which is gorgeous I do love a good bright pink lip <laughs> I, I have my faves um, okay so what else have we got here we have this is one of my favorite lipsticks even though it's it's not like a super bright lipstick or anything um, I think this is the one that I got from Monica the Diva. This is Dragon Fruit from L'Oreal's Colorish Balm. These are such nice lip products. They're just very balmy and light and so easy to wear. I was actually did actually have this in a project and was trying to use it up and yeah, didn't actually use it up. But I did use a little bit of it. If you can hear that noise in the background, that is one of my children um, putting the kettle on because he's going to make his mummy a cup of coffee. <laughs> he's just walked over and gestured at me. <laughs> um, I have this other one from the Colorish Balm line. This one is Caramel Comfort. This is a nudie kind of colour. Um, Again, it's a very wearable, easy, everyday kind of colour if you don't want too much colour. Unfortunately, I think it might be a little bit on the warm side for me. Um, I do have quite cool undertones, and sometimes these warmer ones really just don't work for me. Um, I have a couple of Calvin Klein lipsticks. I've actually had these for quite a while, but they're still fine. I did actually throw out a lot of lipsticks this year. So this one is Desire. Which, you know... I don't know if you can tell there's a theme here. It's kind of a berry colour. I do like my berries. My favourite lipstick, like my first lipstick that I wore until there was none left, was actually a plum coloured lipstick. It was quite dark and I wore it all the time. Got myself in trouble at school for wearing it. Uh, this one is called Mesmerise. This one does not look like I've even done anything but swatch it. Which is actually quite possible. It's not a bad colour though. So that's the other Calvin Klein. And then I have this Revlon, which is Tutti Frutti from the Colorburst Lip Butter line. I've actually worn this quite a bit. Um, I like wearing this with like a purple um, eye, which is how I've been wearing the MAC one. I'm currently trying to pan, which is... Uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's basically orange as well. how well you can see that. But it is a nice creamy orange colour. So I'm just going to grab a makeup wipe and just clean off my hand so I can do some more. Might be some staining on my hand, but that'll be fine. Um, I have this very old 
um, Color Stay Lip Color in Sienna. I threw out a couple of other ones like this, but this one still seems to be fine and still seems to work fine. This is a little bit dried out. This might be one that, well, just playing with it now, that is too dry. So actually that one is going to be de-stashed. You will undoubtedly see it in an empties video coming up soon. And the other one that might find its way into that situation is this old Maybelline. This is a Wet Shine Fusion. Let's see what this one's like. It's a similar kind of colour to the Revlon one. Now see, this one's still fine. Look at that. It still smells gorgeous. So that one is clearly A-OK. -okay. So that's good. Good to know. But yeah, that other one why that was like really weird um let's try. okay so i have these four inoxes um inoxa is an australian brand um that is quite popular this one is in gardenia which is just a fairly nice neutral um, for those who like a sort of darker pink, um, dusty kind of colour, which is probably why I have it, because I like that colour. We have Poppy, which is a orange based red. Which is almost to a uh, brick red, that one. I have Boysenberry. Clearly got smudged at some stage, which again, um, can we see a theme here? <laughs> so I had to guess what kind of lipsticks I like. Um, and this one is Dewberry, which is the lightest of the lot. It's actually a very wearable, everyday kind of colour, that one. And I have this one from Hikari. I got this in a Lip Monthly. This is Cabernet. And, you know, even Lip Monthly kind of knew my style. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny, like looking at that now. It's, yeah, I definitely have a, a style. I have this Kate by Rimmel London. I, I don't know what colour. They don't have names, they're just um, colours. I just need to get some things out of my way. Um, so this one is 103, which is actually for me pretty pinky nude. Like That for me is a light colour, but as you can see they're all still in the same kind of vein. And I also have this one, which I got from um, Tamara. This is Kate 45. Again, they don't have names. But this one is... Oh, sorry, can't even see what I'm doing. Uh, it's, we're having a thunderstorm at the moment, in case you're wondering. Uh, this one is a super... This is almost... Almost... Conceal a loop. It would be the kind of lipstick that I would put over something much darker uh, to lighten it up. I would probably almost never wear that colour on its own. Um, it, I would just look really, really washed out, I think. Um, I have this one from NYX, which is called Shiva. Which is... It reminded me when I bought this one. It reminded me of a lipstick that I had many, many moons ago when I was at school, which was the same kind of colour, like the pink with the purple duochrome kind of look to it. Which is why I bought it, is because that's what it reminded me of. Like, totally. I also have this NYX, which is from the Black Label um, collection. This one is called in the afternoon. This is a more purpley plum kind of tone. And then I have these oh, two NYX. This 
one is one of their matte ones. This is Sweet Pink, which has another lipstick messed up on it. So it's a nice pinky colour. And then this one, which will be completely out of the box. This one is Trickery from the Wicked Lippy line. This one is actually green. There's an olive green with a gold sort of shift to it. I've worn it in a couple of videos, um, or in at least one video. So you might have seen it. <laughs> might being the operative word. Then I have, okay that one's a different one, I have these two here which are bourgeois lipsticks. I don't own very much by bourgeois. It's actually pretty pricey here in Australia. So this one is Framboise Exquisite. This is Butcher, the French language. That's, that's what it is. Um, uh, that's actually the problem is that it's not written in, in English. It's 07 in the Sweet Kiss Naturel line. It's actually a really nice colour though. I just got it all over my finger. Um, so it's that one right there. And then I have this one which is called Rouge Soy Soyer. If you're French, you pronounce it. <laughs> and it's number one in the line. And guess what? It's red. The, the rouge part should have given that away straight away. Look at that. It's, it's actually really gorgeous. I almost want to put that on. Um. <laughs> okay, let me clean my hand again. We're almost there. My camera is telling me that the battery is getting low, but it can get its shit together. Excuse my French. Okay, I have two of this one. It's exactly the same colour, I think. Neither one of them are actually open, I don't think. Because I don't think I've actually worn either of them. I'm not actually going to open them. I'm going to leave them. You can see through the top that they're a pink. This is Petal Rebel by Colour Whisper um, by Maybelline so yeah I haven't even swatched these I haven't opened them or anything I got two of them because it was one of those um, bulk deal things where you buy one and they give you another one um, yeah. this one is um, Colour Sensational by Maybelline in Beige Rose Again, I'm not really sure why I bought this. It might just have been because it was on sale. <laughs> it's a warm toned neutral that is going to be like concealer lip on me. But I could mix it with other lipsticks to make it wearable. Then I have these two Playboy lipsticks. I got these quite a while ago. But um, I have quite a bit of Playboy makeup actually, strangely enough. Um, I have Ruby Red and In the Pink. Guess what colour ruby red is? <laughs> yeah. It's actually a matte. I've actually worn this out. I wore it down the street and I got so many compliments when I wore that. And so many people were saying how bold I was for wearing such a bright red lip. Um, but because it's matte, it doesn't move around all over the place, so you don't have to worry about it being messy. That's the only problem with the best of ones, is that they're, they're quite... Um, slippy, so you do need to use a lip liner. This one is in the pink. This one is not a matte. This is more of a it's a bit more sheer and a bit lighter and a bit of a more wearable everyday kind of colour. And the last two lipsticks that are in this container are from Girly Cosmetics. These, I got both of these at the um, beauty convention that I went to. This one is Firecracker Red. It's actually an orange red with a gold shift to it. You can't even see that. Um, it's, it's almost like a pinky red but it's got such a strong gold shift to it that it just it comes across almost orangey red. 
it's actually really cute. And the last one is Shimmering Grape, which is a really nice purpley colour with a bit of a shift to it as well. Some people would call it frosty. Um, it doesn't really come across as frosty to me. That's just my personal opinion. So those are all the lipsticks that were in this little container. So this is part two of my makeup collection. If you want to see more of my makeup collection, then click the subscribe button down below. There will be a few of these coming up over the next sort of week or so. Um, um, leave me a thumbs up if you like uh, makeup inventory type things. And leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments. And I will see you in my next video. See ya.